I keep trying to make helpful videos in 10 minute long games because I think the longer format of the game is what you really need and what I need in order to make intelligent comments. But then the video length ends up being too high and I can't upload it. So we're going to play 5 minute chess and I'm going to just tell you the basics, okay? This is all you need to know, all right? There's no easy answer, bro. Number one, there's no easy answer. All of these moves which I'm making on autopilot are moves which have come after years of understanding the opening and the nuances of it. And I have my own, my own positional line pet variation, which I play with the F3 move. But I strongly think if you're, if you're not that great a player, then why not just mimic me? Just learn from me and copy it. What's so hard? I'll explain it to you. Okay, look, so pressure is building up on this weak pawn here and we're gonna advance it forward. We've got these pieces defending the key pawn, which allows us to do this. And this is a bit excessive. You see, this is a bit excessive and we're not gonna respect that. We're not gonna respect it. And now comes the question, we can't kill it because of the rook. So, Do we do this move at all? This is a key move. I think I want to clear off the pressure. I want to be able to do this. Hmm. I wanted to be able to do that and support it with a pawn, but in the previous variation I couldn't do that because he could immediately do this and it would be a bit awkward. But nonetheless, I'm I'm content with this structure. Two pawns in the center. That's the structure we're dealing with. And let me tell you, this is not an easy structure to play. Because if you move either of these pawns up, you're creating a lot of weaknesses. And one thing is we're going to force a trade of his bishop. If he's really trying to go all so aggressive on me, like make every move attacking, 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 well, then fine. Trade off the bishop for my knight. I don't mind. Uh, every move he wants to attack in some way or another, you see? This is his disease. It's a good, it's not bad. It's not bad in general to be an attacking player, not at all, but uh, you've got to think strategically. Look, I've got the bishop pair, you don't. That's a key difference. Queen is out and about. We're going to start to blunt the dark squared bishop by keeping our pawns, which are close to the king, key point, the pawns which are close to the king might end up being on dark squares as a way to blunt the enemy bishop. In the end game, pieces on the dark squares could be become vulnerabilities because the bishop can attack them, you know? But in the in this stage of the game, especially with the pawns which are close to the king, you can handle it like this. Now, we can't push this up, so don't even bother. We have to concern about this. We should get our queen off this diagonal for sure. Uh, I have a feeling like here is a pretty good spot. This looks like a slightly soft square. Maybe a little bishop angling in. This kind of fork threat around keeps the knight honest. Uh, okay, so I am going to advance it after all and there's a clear reason for it is because we want to block his bishop. So I'm weakening the structure slightly to put his bishop out of play. Uh, it's a conscious decision.
We'll just put it here just to threaten potential check if he decides to come out with a knight. But we gotta get our rook here, maybe bishop here, and and then put the attack down the middle as well on the f file. I have to note there is a check possibility, and the checks always mean that there is a potential for intermezzos. Now he he is clearly bothered by my queen. No worries. We've coaxed a small weakness in his position and his defense. And, uh, hmm. Well, he's made a good move. Gotta give him credit. Now, if we kill back here, we lose the bishop, get this pawn, and we eventually lose that pawn too. But I think we kind of have to go for it here. Uh, didn't go exactly according to plan. Admittedly. Should I, in fact, try to hold on to this? No, knight here comes pretty strong. Let's go here. It's a little bit... Uh, I don't feel so good about this move because my queen feels slightly offside and I could end up in a lot of uh, attacking pressure very quickly, very suddenly. But I think it's manageable based on my analysis. Or intuition, rather. But yeah, there is going to be some pressure building up on these pieces, and uh, it's not going to be a pleasant position for for White. Surely not. Um, but we have to start somewhere. And uh, got to not be overly defensive either. Maybe we can start to challenge this file and try to maybe even get a rook down there and attack. It's a possibility. It's a slightly counter-attacking strategy here. Initially, I was thinking of moving my rook here and putting pressure on f file, but I see the queen has it relatively well covered, and ultimately it's just building a bit more pressure on me. So instead... Actually, I could have considered maybe taking this. I'm not sure if I missed a trick on that last move. Takes it with check. Oh, and this checkmate next move. So, no, I had to move here. Had to move here. Um, okay, that knight would love to come in with check there. Yeah. So, we're going to have to do something immediate. What to do? Very difficult move here. Okay, gotta do something. Probably gotta deliver a check. No matter which way we spin this. Um, the follow-up is very sinister mate in the corner there. That's the only thing saving us from losing this bishop here. So this is not an easy position. You guys wouldn't be able to handle this, but, but I can, maybe. I'm just about doing it. Surviving, just staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Ha 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 ha, staying alive. Um, yeah. Some point, we could even consider taking this, coming in with check, yep. Take it with check and we take this rook. And now the game's over, I think. He can't, he can't sustain it now. All he has is this attacking pressure. We're putting all kinds of threats on him. It's too much. I think it's mate. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Made a blunder there. But yeah. It's pretty bad. All right. So 
In this game, I won't say it's a role model of uh, learning, but what you can see, I hope, is understand that at the end of the game, when the position was starting to slip out of control, I was able to use tactical skills to get back in the game. And essentially, I won't say achieve a swindle, but something pretty close to it. He was attacking, a little bit over attacking, and right here, this may not have been the most optimal move. As you can see, the evaluation bar dropping a little bit there. Um, I don't know, perhaps just spawn up bishop back or something, another pawn up, another pawn up. Maybe that would have been cleaner. Uh, thing is, he had this immediate move here. So what about this? Maybe pawn up right away. Challenged? No worries. Then you Then you attack the bishop and then you consolidate. That might have been a better approach. What we didn't want to do was allow him to take there. But we had this, and it's not an easy position to play. Definitely not an easy position. Um, but at the same time, you know, you can handle it. You can handle the pressure. And white still has a small advantage here. But it's not an easy position. And when I made this move, that might have been a big mistake. You see, up until this point, white has a nice advantage, plus one. Uh, but as soon as you break open the two pawns, the advantage dropped to minus one. You see, huge mistake, actually. So, big lesson. It's a big lesson. Of course, he's not capitalizing well enough, and I'm not taking advantage of his mistakes well enough, but... Wait, just getting along. It's a bit of a seesawing game here. And yeah, of course, I made this huge blunder. So... There's that. And now, with the queen totally offside, I am definitely in a lot of trouble. And he started putting a lot of pressure on me. And uh, basically, the game is lost for white. So... It's not an easy situation. But now, there was a small little opening here, and that's where the check comes in, and queen h4. That's like really just holding it on a knife's edge here. Um, it's still not enough. Just about holding on, but black should be able to crush through, and then he makes a huge mistake. But the difference between the 1800s and the 2000s is you can take advantage, seize the moment, seize the moment, loose piece identified. How do you capitalize? Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is how you, this is, and I was able to do this instantly and under time pressure. How can I do that? It's from practice, training, tactics training. Tactics training is everything. So, tactics training, you can never waste your effort if you do that. At the very least, you'll be able to swindle games which you're losing. So, tactics training. But